There is your uh, your running order. And this is the final round. Uh, this will determine the, the championship here at the Mastercraft Pro in the men's slalom. We're going to start off with uh, Jaime uh, Palomino, uh, followed by Benjamin Lutz, uh, Martin Bartowski, uh, Jaden Eid, Daniel Advarko, uh, Jonathan Travis, Stephen Island, Aaron Davies, Robert Pagosi, Sasha Desca, Thomas de Gasperi, uh, Lucas Cornell. And then we'll go on to another page uh, for our for our remaining skiers, but uh, certainly opening up with some with some great uh, slaloming talent. Can he take it out of John Travers' hands? Here he comes, Sasha okay. Desco, 10 to 5 meters. Oh, a horrid start on buoy number one. Now he's going to really have to muscle this one out, and he's inside two. three. A lead of two from Sasha Desco. Here he comes. It's a big one ball. A oh, huge one. There's yeah, number two. He's still there on top. He's still upright. Oh, oh he's going to be absolutely gutted with himself. That, that, is, is, that is devastating. Down lead of two and a half. Cole McCormick sitting out front. There's Good one. one. Great one. Yeah, he's, he's going to run four here. This There's is going well. Three. He's in the lead. Many turn number four. four. He's going to scamper across to five. He's Can got it. Go oh, oh huge score. Spin. It looks I, like it's going to be four and a half half then then that's that's a hugely high level of tournament which we do see happen joel poland 10 to 5 he's not had a very good one over to two and he's not going to get to three and he might have even have gone inside of two i i, I don't know uh, 41, 41 off four and a half to tie the lead solid ish ish one he'll probably get a big two and he'll he will run three but he won't get any more um solid s turn uh. he's run the three he's happy he's very happy so that puts him in outright second at 41 yesterday he's chasing Dane Meckler four and a half a Hazelwood at three there's the big gate drops the shoulder good one Very good one. one yep releases well at two. Oh, no. the oh. the tail. well he's done it before can he do it again it's a good gate he sets up well into number one he's got the tip down and he's across the two he's on time here it's a big two reaches out for three a little loose he's line can he get around it. four Ouch. He kind of froze. He's throwing the fist. He's, He's pretty happy it. with it. We didn't He's see the four it. ball of Dane Meckler. Okay, his 41 off. He's got the one ball he's looking There's for. You know There's his two ball's going to be big. He's out of position, though. Can he recover it? Number no, three, he's no. Down. He's down course. He does get around number four. And suddenly... Ah, not back inside. We're going to probably review that score, but I have a feeling it's going to be a three and a half. All important gate. Entrance number no. one. Oh, oh no. no, and he goes so, down well and gets half a buoy at 10.25 meters. And that means oh. that for his first ever Pro Tour victory, Dane Meckler takes the title at the 2024 Mastercraft Pro in the men's slalom. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up, please, for Dane Meckler. Wow, huge congratulations, Dane Meckler and family. I'm sure it's been a team effort to get him back on form and back to the top of the podium. Someone take and his sunglasses off. I want to see those tears. <laughs> They'll be coming. I mean, that's that. there's so much heartache gone into that. I mean, that's... I know. Uh, I know Amazing. Wade's on the way down there to get a, a, an interview with him. Hopefully hear from Dane very, very quickly. Let's hear from Wade. Hey, so guys, I'm here with Dane Meckler, Meckler and, and maybe it was better. I was a few seconds late, right? And you get to really take it all in because that, that sort of moment of realization when, wow, this is like my dream come true. You've waited your whole life for this moment, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess, you, you know, you wait this long, you think I'd have, you know, something great to say. I'm just more relieved than anything you know it's been a long journey to get here it's been my goal to win a pro event you know like seriously the last three four years you know i felt like i had the ability to do it and and you know the guys out there they're all very good and so uh, i had some great tournaments but always fell short and you know to do it here it's it's uh i don't know it means that much more you know it's been a tough year um got a you know big shout out obviously to janina our son, Luca, you know, it's been a big year. We moved down to Florida, my parents. Uh, big shout out also Karen Ede, who's been working with me, you know, with PT. And, uh, you know, the goal was to be stronger at this event than I was before. And um, it's uh, pretty amazing to come out on top. 
All right, then, let's take a look at that, uh, that shiny leaderboard that, uh, that presents to you your champion, Dane Meckler, with his score of a four and a half at 10.25 meters. Nate Smith, a runner up spot with three and a half at 10.25. Corey Vaughan on the podium with his score of three and a quarter at 10.25 meters. Those are your, uh, your top three as they stand in the men's slalom competition with Hazelwood, McCormick, Poland, Deska. Caldwell, Travers, Asher, Eid, and Aaron Davies rounding up uh, the remainder of the uh, the top 12. Um, Will uh, sitting pretty there. Nate's managed to get up in second. Rob holding himself uh, just you know at arm's length above Cole McCormick. Uh, I think Rob ended up fourth, but just behind Corey, didn't he? So yes, he, he did. Yes. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of movement there. Yeah, the so big move there probably Thomas Agassi sliding down three spots from from second to fifth. No. From second to fifth, I mean, and Thomas will need a big Travers to get back up there before the last two tournaments of the yeah. year. We're about to go into the women's slalom competition <sighs> very, very soon. We got, we've got more. Have we I we mean, got that, more. That was enough for a full day, I think. I, that was uh, pretty and exciting. And we guess were, what? We've got, we got a bright, shiny uh, uh, women's start list. We got Ali Garcia, our leadoff skier. Then we got Chara Bonneman. Then Alicia Bagnoli, Beatrice Yanni, Sasha Denyuskaya. Uh, Ali Nicholson, uh, Pedrini, Lisbeth Montavon, Manon Costar, uh, Whitney McClintock Rini, Regina Jaquis, Jamie Ball, and I believe there are a couple more uh, to come after after uh, that. In time, she's vaulted herself from dead last to fifth right now, uh, based upon the the scores uh, from from yesterday. If you were to combine oh. those, there we go. I think. Well, let's review that. I think she might have squeaked over out the two. You know, she's had a better set herself today. That was a better 38. Can she have the better start at 39? Not bad at one, not everything she wants. Ooh, horrid number two. I don't know about that three. I think we might be reviewing that. All right, here it is, 39. Two and a quarter for the lead. It's not Ooh, the best one no, half. dang. She has podiumed here before, right? A number of years ago, she came second. You and Tony are the encyclopedias on that thing, on that kind yeah, of thing. So that's a good, good one. Good. Around three for the lead. Will she get it? She's yes. around it. That's an S turn, and she will get three. I'm going to say that's a three. I, let's see it. Manon Costard into one. It's, a, it's it's not the best one by any means. She can safety two probably pretty well. No, she'll she's get committed, it, she'll though. She'll get over to three. Turn it, and then get around there four. There we go. This is fantastic skiing after a terrible one. Oh. That's three and a half, and that's, I mean, it's brutal. Probably a must run to win this tournament given the skiers that are coming next. Uh, three and a half is the lead, but she'll want all of it. It's a bit of an average one. She, she'll, she'll turn two, and it, it's, a, it's she, a good two. She can work with all this. Yeah, she's oh, no, 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 she hasn't. She can't work with that. And that is, that's, that's brutal. So that puts Manon on the podium. It puts, it, so let's see what she can do. She's got the lead. Where is that lead going to end up after this pass? Season best is three. She gets an average one. She'll probably get over to two. She does. And S turn out the exits. At 39. 10, 7, 39 off. I'll leave you to it, Corey. All right. The start's going to tell us a lot. Good one. She can work yes, with one. that. She There's needs the better two. two. That is a better two than 38. She's feeling good about things oh, right here. That. Now it's just, oh, no. Oh, she didn't need that four. No, she. And oh, is inside no. six. Oh, no. And ladies and gentlemen, that means that with a score of two at 10.25 meters, your 2024 Mastercraft Pro Women's Slalom Champion, Regina Jaquas. And uh, let's have a look at the, at the final uh, slalom leaderboard. Your champion of uh, 2024 Mastercraft Pro, Regina Jaquist with a score of two at 10.25 meters. Runner-up spot from Canada, Jamie Ball with five, with five at 10.75 meters. Uh, Manon Costar with her score of three and a half at 10.75 meters. Uh, that's the top three. Rounding off the top five, uh, Elizabeth Montavon in fourth place with three at 10.75. And Whitney mcclintock Rini with two and a half at 10.75 meters. And then it's Nicholson, Garcia, uh, Rini, Danielskaya, Bagnoli, and Bonneman. So 
Uh, that concludes the uh, the slalom action. Uh, we're going to uh, take a quick look at the Pro Tour women standings. Uh, Jamie Balls to win the lead with uh, 310 points. Ali Nicholson on 2-2-3. Two, two, uh, Manon Costar uh, climbs up with uh, 208 points. Regina Jaquis uh, has a big shot in the arm uh, from that win with, uh, with 185 points. And running off the top five, Whitney McClintock, Rini. And you can find out more about the Water Ski Pro Tour and the standings for each event by going to waterskiprotour.com. And here is the brand leaderboard. Uh, Syndicate uh, still in the lead uh, with, uh, with, that, with that point total up there, uh, followed by Good, Radar Skis, D3, and La Pointe. Our uh, men's jumpers, we have six of them. And we're going to start off with Taylor Garcia. He'll be our leadoff skier, followed by Chile's Emil Ritter. Then uh, Great Britain's Jack Gritchley, and also from Great Britain, Joel Poland. Our penultimate skier from France is going to be Louis Duplan Freiburg. And uh, final skier who jumped nearly 230 feet uh, yesterday, uh, Freddy Krueger. To bring this one later. There's a good uh, view of his approach as he turns hard, comes barreling in. Still a little early, great lift. But coming off the top left hand corner, now he's controlling his fear. He's saying, you know what, leave it as late as I can. Right ski around and let's go. Relaxes into the bottom. Better lift. Yep. Yeah, he had more room. Oh, that beautiful float towards the end there. The turn. He's a strong guy. He's got a nice patient turn there, barreling in. And that's a great that's opening it. jump. That's it. He's pushed it out. He's right on that 220 foot buoy. All right, where does he go from here? He's open so strong. He was late. He was smooth. He got great lift. What else can you do? Another huge jump like that. That's what you can do. Dated for a number of years. Louis Duplan comes in. This is a jump at number two. A little bit of a smoother turn. Hopefully he can connect. Better lift. He's going to carry that one down. Oh, he's yeah. Whatever he's produced up to this point. So Freddy Krueger, one last attempt. Driving in off the wake. Bam. Oh, he's pumping it in the oh, air. Man. He's milking it. He's throwing he, a fist he, too. He, he knows happy. the difference. He knows, he knows that it's good. The camera's on Joel, and he's going, uh, I don't know. Uh, that was a big jump. And you know when Freddie celebrates on landing, he knows. He knows he's pushed it a bit further. Is it enough? I have a feeling the crowd on shore know. They were watching him as he floated past that 200-foot, 20-foot uh, buoy and in the air. Look at him just pumping the, the milking that float out. And I have a feeling we have a... Winner of the 2024 Mastercraft Pro. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, as he makes his way back to the dock, it is it Freddy is. the Nightmare Kruger with a jump distance of 232 feet or 17.8 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, your men's jump champion, Freddy the Nightmare Kruger. That is awesome to see. A quick butchers at this leaderboard. Uh, Men's jump leaderboard, your champion with 70.8 meters or 232 with Freddy the Nightmare Kruger. Joel Poland from Great Britain with, uh, with his jump of 69.6 .6 meters or 228 feet. Taylor Garcia with 66.7 meters or 219 feet. And then the, uh, the remaining three jumpers, uh, Duplan Freiber, uh, Ritter and Critchley rounding off the six jump finalist so and the pro tour standings for men's jump is going to come down to the final event just take a look at that uh, john k phillips sponsors the pro tour standings in the men's jump joel poland currently on 132 wow. but he is only six points ahead of fred freddie the nightmare kruger who is on 126 Luca Rockenwald on 87. Taylor Garcia, he'll earn some more points. He's on 75. Jack Gritchley, uh, currently in the two way tie for fifth with himself and Louis Duplan Freiburg on 58. And those are your top six in the Pro Tour standings in the men's jump, provided to you by John K. Phillips. We've got a women's start list for women's jump. Uh, Val Valle Gonzalez will be our lead off skier, followed by uh, Utah Ministrina, then, uh, then Regina Jaquist, Laura Morgan, Brittany Wharton, Sasha Denyaskaya, and our final uh, competitor of the day is going to be uh, Hannah Stroltsova. Down to 1.65 or five and a half feet. And let's watch along as she takes a pretty healthy approach. 
Into jump number one, floats it down. A little early, I think. Maybe a little bit early. But a little squatter coming into the turn. Let's see what she's got off the second wake. Oh, nice extension off the top. That one, I think, is going to be further than the first, I would say. D3 is yeah, here right, we sorry. go. This is Regina Jaquist up and over. Oh, yeah, better looking jump. I'd, I would, I'd certainly say that was further. That kind of sidestep, uh, sidelined her for uh, a few years. She was late this morning and straight away on the corner again on jump number one. Maybe losing a little direction. Maybe underestimating the headwind on the first two approaches. I think she bought this later. The skis came around more. Hopefully more speed into the bottom. She's got the lift. Can oh, she hang feet. it out? She's got to find seven feet. Place it's going to be depends on what Sasha does right here and now. Coming in hot. And a big jump at number three. Okay. All right, then. Here we go. This is Hannah Stoltz over. Second of three attempts. She's a little bit behind the eight ball on jump number one. Let's see if she could get back into this. Oh, there we go. Oh, close to the bottom right-hand corner. And I do suspect that that jump is going to be a little bit further. The question is by how much? And as she comes back down the lake, the distance is going to come through. We have a winner. It is 181 feet for Hannah Stoltz over. The 2024 Mastercraft Pro. There you go. Women's jump champion and big congrats to her. 181 feet. Ladies and gentlemen with 55.1. That is Hannah Stroltz over. Ladies and gentlemen with a score of four and a half at 10.25 minutes 41 off. Let's give it up please for Dane Mekla. Women's Slalom Champion. Coming to us from the United States of America with a score in the final round with two at 10.25 meters off, 41 off. Let's give it up, please, for Regina Jaquiz. It is the one, the only, Freddy the Nightmare Kruger! And wouldn't you know, it's Team Mastercraft on the podium! With a jump of 55.1 meters, she is your winner. She is your champion of the 2024 Mastercraft Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up, please, for Hannah Strauss-Sova!